Team coverage continues right now at five. Connecticut's governor now urging residents, as you just saw, to stay home this Thanksgiving. Keep it small. And that's the message if you are planning a gathering. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live right now. She's at Bradley Airport with uh, how some brand new testing sites are opening up to hopefully make it a little easier for travelers. Courtney. Hey there, Mark. Yes, to make it convenient for travelers getting off an airplane, there are now two COVID-19 testing sites here at Bradley International Airport. One is right here in baggage claim. The newest one is outside. Lisa Rita Rosa Quiones is visiting family in Connecticut this Thanksgiving. She flew in from Florida. They have uh, protocols. Everybody have masks on the plane. Um, everybody have control on that. So yeah, it was a good one. Travelers heading into Connecticut are expected to quarantine for 14 days or have a negative COVID-19 test result. Lisa Rita plans to do both. She's just happy to be back to spend time with family. It's um, welcoming. It's awesome. Um, you know, having everybody at home, um, having time with them. You know, it's a special occasion. There are now two COVID-19 testing sites at Bradley International Airport. The outdoor drive up testing site open today in parking lot three. You don't need an appointment and it's uh, available to passengers, but also to the general public. Another location is inside in the baggage claim area. It's a convenient way for passengers to get tested if they choose. Pre registration is encouraged to get you in and out. Patients will get results in 72 hours. Overall, travel is down at Bradley International Airport. For Thanksgiving, there's a bit of an uptick. We're seeing about 38% more than what we have been seeing over the last four weeks. But if you compare it to what we normally would see this time of the year and what we have seen last year, it's about 65% down. Now, as for traffic at that outdoor testing site, airport officials don't believe it will be an issue. We didn't see any uh, traffic spilling out into the road. It was basically looping around that parking lot area. By the way, at 3 o'clock, the wait time there was an hour and a half. We're live at Bradley International Airport. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The lines are really